Today we're going to talk about solving quadratic linear systems algebraically. In the last lesson, you would have learned how to take these two equations and solve them graphically by putting each of them into the calculator. Today we're going to do them algebraically. So it's going to include these steps here on the right. The step one, make sure the equation is in the form y equals. Um, for now, I've given you y equals for both of these equations, so step one is already taken care of. Step two is going to be to set both of these equations equal to one another. So you're basically going to take your x squared plus 4x plus 3 and your 2x plus 6 and set them equal to one another. So we have x squared plus 4x plus 3 equals 2x plus 6. Once you have them set equal to one another, you're going to move the terms to one side of the equal sign and set the equation equal to 0. So we need to move this 2x to the left side and the 6 to the left side. We'll use inverse operations, so we'll subtract 2x from both sides. Make sure you line up your like terms. We'll also subtract 6. You could do this in two different steps, or you could do it all at once. These will cancel. You'll be left with 0. And then on the left side, we have nothing to combine with the x squared. We bring it down. A negative 4x and a positive 4x and a negative 2x would give you a positive 2x. And a positive 3 subtract 6 would be minus 3. So at this point, we've done step three. We move the terms to one side of the equal sign and set the equation to zero. For step four, we're going to solve the quadratic equation using the formula. Here's, again, your formula for quadratic formula. This is going to be given to you on your reference sheet. But before I can actually substitute, I'm going to have to identify what my a is, my b, and my c. Just remember your a is the number in front of x squared, so there's really a one there. b is the number in front of x, which would be two. C is the number or constant, would be negative 3. So we're going to substitute into our x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Now I like to substitute after the fact. So b is 2, a is 1, and c is negative 3. Okay, now if you don't remember, you're going to take what's underneath the square root. So right now we did step four. We're going to take what's underneath the square root and put it into your calculator. So I have two to the second power minus four times one times negative three. So underneath the square root, we're going to have 16. So we have x equals negative two. I'm going to take the negative out in front, take, get rid of the parentheses, plus or minus the square root of 16 over two. Now, if you didn't already know, the square root of 16 is actually a perfect square. So we're going to do the square root of 16 would give you 4. So instead of this square root of 16, we're going to have 4. So I'm going to have x equals negative 2 plus or minus 4 over 2. And then if you remember, our last step for solving quadratic formula is to break it up into the two equations, taking into account that plus and minus. So first we're going to do x equals negative 2 plus 4 over 2. And then we'll take into account the negative over here, or the minus. Okay, so then you could put this right into your calculator if you'd like, or you could do it in your head. Alpha y equals enter, negative 2 plus 4 over 2. So this side is x equals 1. And on the right side with the subtraction, negative 2 minus 4 over 2. And you get negative 3. So, so far we have our x values of where the two equations would intersect. And that was up, step four was to solve the quadratic equation using the formula. For step five, we're going to take these x values, because I need to get the y values. We're going to substitute the x values into the linear equation to solve for the y variables. So just a side note, you really can substitute into either equation, but it's naturally easier to substitute into the linear because it's, you know, less things to substitute, less terms to deal with. So for this one right here, we're going to first substitute y equals 2x plus 6. For each of these, we're going to substitute x. So here we're going to substitute x as 1. Here we're going to substitute x as negative 3. Okay, use your calculator at this point, or do mental math. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 6 is 8. Over here you have 2 times a negative 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 6 would be 0. So at this point, I have my x value, and I have my y value, so I can write my solutions, which is step six here. Write your solutions as a set of ordered pairs. So my solutions here are x value 1, y value 8, so the point 1, 8, 
and the point negative 3, 0. Okay, those are my two solutions. Now, if you just want to check your work, you could always go back to the original equation, go into y equals, and check them graphically. So I could do x to the second power plus 4x plus 3, and 2x, y equals 2x plus 6. Now, some of you look at the graph. If you look at the graph, they should intersect at, we said, 1, 8, and negative 3, 0. I prefer to use the table. If you're going to the table, so negative, negative 3, 0 is right here. You can see that negative 3, 0 is a part of both equations. So therefore, that would be an intersection or a solution. And then 1, 8. 1, 8 right here is part of both. You follow the same steps for any equation. The only thing that might differ in each equation is the fact that step 1 might not need to be done. So here we had to make sure the equation was in y equals form. Sometimes you'll have to manipulate these to make them y equals before you can solve them.